Hello friends, welcome once again to our um, channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a simple website written in JavaScript as an application for both Android and iOS. No native frameworks required or plugins, just pure uh, JavaScript using Capacitor JS plugin. So we will focus mainly on the use of Capacitor JS to build and deploy our website application written in JavaScript into Android and iOS app as a single uh, code base. Okay, so uh, before we, we set up our capacitor JS uh, project structure, let's start with creating a basic uh, HTML web page that we are going to be using in our application. So to do so, I will head to uh, our folder which will be in Then uh, after that, I'll just drag this folder into our VS code, uh, like so. Let's call it main.html, okay, like so. All right, so inside here, we just type HTML and then uh, we'll select the IntelliSense uh, will just uh, uh, pop us different menus, different options, which will choose HTML5, like so. And then this will give us a boilerplate for us to start with. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and say web application, like so. Uh, then we can save and then we need to use uh, we'll be using bootstrap into this uh, page so we'll just go to our browser and then uh, Okay, so that being done, <coughs> I'll put this startup template into our into the description of the video, so you can just go ahead and download, and then you can follow the video. But we can then go ahead and uh, start with uh, creating a nav section. So. We we'll start with the navigation. Uh, we can close it there, like so. This will add padding to our number. Okay, so
Okay, so uh, that's out of the way. Can then add an icon for our button here. So it will be. And uh, we can just save. And then let's try to run our server and see. Good, so our logo is right there and also our icon. So let's add menu to our nav bar. Uh, we'll do so by Let's just uh, save and see what we have. Okay, so if we refresh, good. So we have our menus as follows. All right, so we have finished our navigation section. Now what we are going to do is add our uh, <coughs> header section. So the header section here so here we can just put our url you don't need to use what i've used you can find any online that you can use so i'll put that url there okay, let's save and see what we have all right our image is right there so how do we fill it in the container so we will create another file here Good, so our image has loaded as you can see. Now the next thing we need to do is to add a background or you can call it a mask. It will be zero, 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 which will be black then we'll give it opacity of 60. So it will be 0.6, that will be our opacity. All right. Okay, so we need to add something here on our container. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, that is, that will do. Let's check what we have. Good. Now we can go ahead and add our center content. So it will be uh, div.
good but our items are not centered let's see why is that this is content on content yeah justify content good so uh so this is our basic uh, web uh, template that we have created that we are going to use in our capacitor project to export it as uh, an ios or a web or android application okay so our next step will be initiating our initializing our capacitor uh, for structure in order for us to set up our capacitor project we will need node.js to be installed into our system and uh, we'll need npm of course npm comes with node.js when you install node.js npm comes along with it and uh, we also need uh, an editor which we are using in this video i'm using vs code so you will need to install vs code and also you will be required to have either android studio or xcode for ios so either of the application that you are going to do to build you need these two sdks installed on your uh, system all right so that out of the way i hope now by now you have all those installed so if you not then you can pause the video and install those two sdks android studio or xcode on your system and then you can proceed all right so we'll just go to view here and then open up our terminal and then uh, the terminal will open up in our folder which we have created right here okay so we will run this command which will be npm init at capacitor uh, then up like so then we can click enter this will initialize our capacitor application into this folder okay so it will prompt us to to provide configuration like the name of our application which we can provide uh, think we can leave it at my app then uh, we can give yeah con.capacitor app.app yeah that will be our bundle id and then we can yeah so our project has been created as you can see right here okay so what we are going to do here is we can go into this source folder we'll go ahead and uh, uh, we'll remove we'll delete this four file here so we'll delete that from our js folder hmm. so we'll convert this into a ww folder okay then we can go ahead and create a new folder here which is source and then in our folder here we can then create a new file called index.js so this is what is going to contain our configurations for our application we'll go to our a index.html page and uh, since we are not going to use paw uh, we are not going to export paw applications so 
we can go ahead and delete these imports so we'll delete that and uh, we can go ahead and remove this capacitor since we have already deleted the file we don't need it and I think we don't need this yep we can save okay maybe you can just add something here we can then go ahead and then add another file into our project uh, root which will be a web pack which will be used to build our javascript so webpack.config uh, .js now let's go into our index file and then modify okay now let's start by <coughs> uh, declaring uh, the usage of our capacitor plugin in our index.js which is found in the source folder here so to do so we'll just say import okay so we can save that and then after that we can go ahead into our uh, our capacitor.config and then we are going to change not here yeah so we are going to change our root folder instead of the this we will put ww which is uh, this folder here okay okay now we'll head back to our index.js file in the source folder here then we can define uh, some function here which will be this will be device and then we we'll say it will be an async function we we'll get uh, device info like so we have created the get device information this is basically is a, a promise uh, function that is used to get uh, uh, that is used to get the device information what we are going to do now is uh, uh, sorry, we are going to go into our webpack config which we have defined down here and then here we will we'll first declare a constant path which will equal require So that will be our uh, con web pack configuration. All right. So we can save. Okay, now this completes our configuration and project setup. So the next thing we need to do is uh, getting our HTML page into this. Uh, 
application so what we are going to do is we are going to go to our main folder and just copy what we have just done like so uh, actually we can copy into everything here and then come to our index js Okay, since you have these uh, imports, let's first copy these ones. Uh, okay, we can take this. Copy that. Let's put them into our index file. Uh, sorry, this one. and then we can copy uh, these two meta tags and also uh, put them in, into our page like so okay so after that then we can just copy everything here and uh, yep let's overwrite this like so okay so what we need to do next is come here so this the www here is where we put our icons images like so and then our styles will be inside here so since we have already style.css we just copy this settings from here and then come into here and uh, paste them here like so and uh, we can go ahead delete um, let's delete these two files that we created uh -huh. Good, so now we have set up our project and uh, it's ready to be uh, deployed. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go to CD. Uh, go to CD. Uh, oh my my app folder uh, you can then run npm install uh, hyphen d then webpack uh, cli like so so this will install our cli I will pack into our project. Okay, now uh, since that is done, then we can go ahead and uh, npm uh, install. Uh, huh, then I'll just specify uh, iOS. I'm going to use iOS for this tutorial. Because it requires more configuration. So run npx uh, cap, which stands for capacitor ins add uh, iOS. this project structure so the next thing we need to do is go into our pods folder uh, since we have not initialized this we'll just first copy this uh, pod file settings and just highlight everything copy 
and then we can go ahead and uh, I think we need to delete this and uh, we need to delete uh, we'll go into pod and target uh, yeah we need to delete these two files which is debug and uh, release so uh, we we'll remove that to trash and then we can just cd Okay, we can just cd uh, ios then inside our ios folder we can then run pod init and then at the same time we can run pod install like so okay 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 so the issue here is we need to move into app folder like so cd ios then app because uh, we are not directly directly into our uh, app folder here so according to this structure we need to move into this app folder so there is where we, we are going to run pod in it and then uh, pod install like so okay if we run that once again let's see what we have mm -hmm. okay it has success if we come here into our pod then uh, uh. okay inside our pods app then we see that our debug configuration have been uh, created so we so we can go into our pods folder here and then highlight everything and then paste whatever we copied uh, before okay and then we can run pod uh, install again okay so this has successfully installed our uh, plugins as follows then uh, what we are remaining with is um, we need to open our project into xcode so to do so we just head here and then let's type um okay npx uh crop open ios so this will launch our project into iOS where we can then uh, test oops sorry need to go back to our root folder which will be uh, cd okay
now what we are going to do is just run into an emulator and see as you can see right here but then we have an issue of the image not uh, being resized so we need to fix that what we need to do is to go into our HTML file then we add a mini width to a hundred on our <coughs> on our image like so so after that then we can uh, can run <coughs> webpack uh, npx uh, webpack like so mm. oops we are presented with an error and uh, uh, well, we are told that the device uh, capacitor device does not exist so we need to sorry sorry we forgot to in it to install that so it will be uh, it will be NP uh, npm install at capacitor uh, then uh, we can put device like so <laughs> okay so let's check our project and see what we have we go to modules capacitor we see we have the device here so let's check our our uh, package good we also have the device enabled right here so then we can run npx to build our, our project to be first let's run Okay, this one npx uh, webpack like so. I think it should build right now. Good, it has successfully <coughs> compiled. So let's try to run npx caps sync iOS mm -hmm. all right so our project has uh, successfully compiled then you can uh, just uh, let's just go to our Xcode and uh, we see now uh, let's try to run our application once again and see what we can get not overlapping so even our menu is visible as you can see okay so in this tutorial we have completed we have successfully built our uh, basic HTML pay, uh, web page into an iOS application so you can feel free to even uh, build more complex uh, application using these uh, steps as we have seen <coughs> okay so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please feel free to subscribe and like and share 
uh, this video if it has been of help. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you.